Hi folks, Steve here again. Well, um, now that I've got all the leaves where I need them, um, I'm gonna plant my garlic. So um, I'm gonna probably do a, um, a time lapse on that, move it along a little faster. But I've taken, um, I've got my tractor with my uh, cultivator on it. And I actually took my loader and I dug up the top maybe six inches, loosened it up a little and then, and then ran through it with this and it creates nice little furrows to plant the garlic in. I'll probably go down through it with a hoe first, and um, but plant them about that kind of spacing and uh, get through the garlic uh, planting uh, season here. But uh, as you can see, I've got my asparagus pretty well covered up here with leaf mulch. Hopefully that'll break down over the you know winter. Um, but it'd be interesting to see if I um, have a thick layer of mulch, will I get some white asparagus out of this? Um, be something I might um, try this year. But uh, it looks pretty good. And I've got all the leaves over here on the garden. Um, this is where I'm gonna plant the garden next year. And uh, I might extend it out because I got a lot of leaves coming out um, still. Get this um, garlic planted and another phase of farming. All right, let's make it happen. Um, so this is the garlic. I, I took about 50 bulbs. But I just want to show you the size of the cloves that I get with this garlic. Um, it's really, really good garlic. And I get about six of those per bulb. Um, so it's a lot less uh, peeling. Um, obviously, I won't plant some of the thin ones. You know, you get you get a really skinny one. So I probably won't plant something like that. But I'll plant all these nice big, heavy bulbs here. And you plant them just like they would be growing. So this is where the roots were down here, and then this is the tip. And you plant it just like that in the ground so that's what I'm gonna do like this one has already got like a little green tip on it I'm sure you've all seen garlic that goes to green but I won't plant that one it's just too skinny it's not gonna produce nice results this guy that'll that'll produce nice results all right I'm gonna get planting Well, there we have it. One, two, three, four, five rows. I gotta count how many are in a row. But I think I got enough for two more rows. And I got my helpers out here working with me. Free ranging. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cover them up and then I'm going to rake the leaves over to the other side and then I'm going to plow this up on this side and then um, plant probably two more rows. I think I got enough for two more rows. So that'll be maybe seven rows and that'll fill this up and maybe I'll add another another row of uh, uh, raspberries um, next spring. I'll let them grow up outside like they did this year. Um, and then uh, maybe transplant another row. So that'll become two rows and then maybe plant a third row next to the garlic here. So I have half garden pretty much planted and then the rest of it, as I said, will be my garden. And then maybe I'll add another, I don't know, 16 feet out where the tractor is there. Um, this way, um, maybe I'll maybe I'll plow it up a little bit and then uh, just lay leaves on it, mulch it up. 
All right, so I'll do time lapse of covering the garlic. morning uh, Steve here um, I want to talk a little bit about my project and um, what I'm trying to do here um, I'm crossbreeding two different breeds of chickens there's the uh, dark Cornish and that's my breed of roosters and then for the hens I have a white Plymouth and uh, between the two you breed the roosters to the hens and then the hens that are offspring from those two you cross breed back to the dark Cornish rooster that you originally started with but not the same rooster but a rooster of the same breed and so um, that'll be probably next spring so right now I've got a mix between roosters and hens. I've got, um, when I originally ordered the chickens, they gave me a bonus chicken and that was a rooster in the, um, the white Plymouth breed. And so, so that kind of messed me up a little bit, but now I'm getting some purebred um, white Plymouths that I need more hens um, because my hens are slowing down. So. I have a bunch of those in here and I'm gonna keep all those and continue to um, have those as layers. So I'll kind of show a diagram of what we're looking at doing here. And um, it hasn't been easy. I've got a lot of roosters. I have um, too many roosters and I need to um, uh, butcher some more. I think I counted, oh, I don't know maybe 13 total roosters. And so I ended, only ended up with like five or six hens that um, I'm gonna keep, keep all the hens, but I've got, I've got some mixes and I'll kind of show you those. So that guy right there that's by the ramp to get up in, he's, he's one of the cross roosters. And so he's gotta go. And then also I've got some purebred roosters and they also have to go. So yeah, they're all, yeah, they're going in right now. They're kind of going into this area. But these two roosters here, um, they're, they're both cross um, between the dark Cornish rooster and the, um, and the uh, white Plymouth hens. And so I'm getting two different, two different mixes, but then I'm also getting purebreds like these hens down here with the yellow feet. Those are purebreds from the white rooster that I have and the white hens that I have. So I'm going to keep those hens and then butcher that rooster. And then up inside here, there's another one of these cross roosters. So they're all inner, they're all intermixing, but. When the time comes, I'm gonna separate out um, three of the hens. So let me see if I can find the hens that I'm gonna cross. So here's two of them with the three amigos. So those two there, those are the cross hens that I want for breeding back to the original roosters, which is this guy right here. Probably not him because he's the dominant rooster. Um, but probably to this guy inside here, um, he's, he's one of the original five that I got. I butchered a couple. One, one was killed by a, uh, one was killed by, I think maybe a fox. And so I've got two roosters, two purebred, um, dark Cornish. And that's probably the original father I'm thinking so so yeah that's kind of a breakdown of the project and I've been just filming it 
and then doing a few other things like gardening and uh, um, just moving them around some buildings like today I'm gonna I'm gonna add a plastic um, shower curtain to the outside of the uh, door that allows uh, fresh air and all winter all summer long but it'll let some nice sunlight in warm the space in the in the barn this winter so when they're cold um, they'll have a place to get out of the weather all right so i'm going to do that next but want to give you a little breakdown of what the project is all right here we go all right so i'm going to uh take this door and i'm going to put this uh i've got a uh, shower curtain and I'm going to put over it's pretty heavy duty so I'm going to put that over the door so that uh, I can uh, so that I can kind of seal it off it'll let a lot of nice bright white light through the uh, through the door and give the chickens a little block from the uh, from the uh, wind and this is all southern exposure I've got my greenhouse over here I'm just going to take this, put it over the top, take this old plastic down that's kind of shot, and maybe try to clean up the door a little bit here so that, uh, um, clean it up, take the plastic off, and just make it a little nicer for the chickens. All right, so I'm going to do that, maybe uh, do that in time lapse. All right, well, you didn't get a lot of content, <laughs> um, but here's the door with the shower curtain all, all put on it. So we'll just, uh, it's self-opening like many of my doors. And it's probably not level, but anyway, it's sealed up. This is the area where we got the divide. So here you see I got some purebred roosters and that's a cross rooster here. Um, see if I can get in here a little bit. So that's a cross rooster, purebred hens. I got some purebred hens in there. Those are purebred white Plymouths. Um, and then he's a cross rock and Plymouth, Plymouth Rock and um, Dark Cornish. But he's got to go. He's not needed. Um, and so here's the way they get in here. And this is the roost for all the original chickens. And then I'm going to add the hens that, um, that are purebred in here. And then they can uh, lay. So this is kind of one area. And so I got to kind of divide this off. Close the door again, and then they'll have some space. All right, that's a little job I've been meaning to do. All right, well, we got it all put together. The door's all covered up. And I still got gaps, enough gaps in here for fresh air. Um, but for the most part, it'll be sealed off from the weather, and it'll allow nice sunshine to come in. Like right now and then you know we got out here's my greenhouse I've done enough greenhouse tours but it needs to be cleaned up and uh, uh, get it ready for next season so maybe I'll do a little video of that here's the old plastic we'll clean that up and uh, yeah um, I think I'll do a little um, I want to I want to dig up one of these one of these um, burdock plants. I've got a lot of them out here. I think I'm going to dig up a burdock plant and then kind of share with you the roots. And then maybe I'll clean these all up, dig them up, and do high speed of that. And I guess you can make like a coffee out of the roots. 
so maybe I'll do a video of that next. All right, stay tuned. So we're gonna dig up some, uh, we're gonna dig up some burdocks. I got my buddy Ringo, he's like 13 years old. He's gonna go right in there and get them all in the spur. I'm gonna dig up some of these burdocks. And he's gonna be my helper. That was not fun. I don't know how they ever figured it out that you can dig these up and somehow roast them and make coffee out of them, but they're in there. And as you can see, I didn't get the whole root. There's still some down in there. So here's three plants, actually four plants. This one came up mostly but I'm gonna research a little bit and uh, see what I do with these. Obviously you gotta clean the dirt off of them. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go with these four, four root bundles and they're all split up. I don't know if it's the little hair roots or if it's the whole root, like this is a good root, but this thing is just a woody mess. It's huge. Now I'll cut these off. The, I'll cut off the uh, burrs. Lots of them on here. And we'll see what to do next. All right, so I got a little stack of them here. I'm gonna rinse them off. Oh, I got a little you know, woolly bear or whatever you call them. These are little caterpillars that tell you uh, if it's gonna be a harsh winter or not.
find some stuff. It might not even be in the right season. Maybe you have to do this when the plants are green. Because there's a lot of dead material on top here. But I'm just cleaning them up. Search a little more about how to make them into some kind of coffee. Um, I believe it's coffee. I don't know. Some kind of medicinal, healthy stuff. And then I've got these um, the red jalapenos that one of the people at work brought in a bunch of peppers, and um, I took a few, and I figured I'd save the seeds out of them. And see if I can't plant those next year. Seeds are so outrageous. You get a packet of like 15 seeds for four dollars right now. I don't even know if you can buy them right now. Now look at it. it's fighting back still. All right, uh, let's see. We'll do some research. I'll do a little bit of a garden update and uh, hopefully get this video out today. Well, we've got a lot of eggs, so that's good. Um, it's a couple days worth. Uh, we went to our yacht club um, final dinner, and uh, but I want to give you an update on the hens. They're growing their feathers back, so some of them are getting getting feathers back. Like that one's got all our feathers back, and those two are starting to get their feathers. Let me just go in there. Um, yeah, like that hen, she's starting to get her feathers back. So she's got little sprouts. I mean, she looks terrible, but, but she's getting them back. This one's starting to get hers back. I mean, I think the cold weather. Yeah, see, this is the problem. This is, that's why they're... That's why they're losing their feathers, these Brutuses. So he's not the one I'm gonna use for my crossbreeding. I'm gonna use that guy over there who kinda hangs out on his own. And I'm gonna breed him to the three amigos. Plus I have another one just like them. It's in the barn. So where's the other amigos? She's floating around in here somewhere because I just saw her. There she is. <laughs> she blends in really well. So she's one of the two amigos. And then I've got another one that looks just like them from the second batch. So I only have three, but I don't need many. So I'm going to pair him up with, uh, so coming in here. There she is. There's one from the second batch. She's hiding back there. And then those two are purebred hens that we're gonna keep. And hopefully, um, yeah, they're laying. So we got one in there from them. Um, but take out all the roosters. I got some work cut out. All right, garden update. I've expanded out so that post way over here, that was where the garden extended to, into the end of these, into the end of these. And so I'm kicking it out into the yard, maybe another 20 feet. So I'd say it's gonna be about a 40 by 40 garden, which would be nice. Got you know some perennial plants in here now. 
with the raspberries and the asparagus. Garlic is in between them. Just like five rows I think I planted. So I don't know, I'll plant, I'll plant something in here. Maybe, maybe some squash or just continue to bring the raspberries over and uh, extend them out into here. I need another load of leaves, but as you can see, I've got a lot of leaves here again. So I'll probably be cleaning these leaves up, getting them raked up, fill this in more. And I just, I'm just putting it right down on the grass here and it'll kill the grass and whatever's under it and the worms will come up, consume the dead leaves and I'm gonna just create a garden just by doing that and see how it goes. And then I'll just plant my plants within the thick leaves. <clears throat> it's kind of my, my thing is not to till up the top six inches so much. And uh, I think it's called like permaculture. But uh, yeah, use the microbes that are already there just kill out the existing plants and then plant my plants in there. Uh, hopefully I'll have a decent garden again. Um, try to make it less weeds. Although every year I get a lot of weeds. So that's where we're at. I am uh, getting some seed on the asparagus already. I think these were three, two or three year old plants, so that's why they're doing so well. Yeah, here's some berries coming in on here. They'll eventually turn red and then you'll get seeds and then hopefully I can plant those seeds. I've never done that. This one's starting, it's starting to ripen up. But only one plant that I can find Maybe this little one down here has got some seeds on it. Yeah, that's got some seeds. But they're, they're starting to get frost and dying back. All right, garden update. It's looking good.